was just excited the whole day. Um, just like a kid, I just got his favorite shoes or something on Christmas. So um, besides the game, I was just happy to be able to be with my guys, just locker room vibes and everything. So um, coming off the bench or starting, it really did, it don't matter. I just got to go out there and play my game, get in rhythm and have fun with it. So that's what I did tonight. Uh, asymptomatic, a couple mild headaches here and there, but other than that, I was good. Just practicing like jump shots in, in my house on my papa shot. <laughs> it ain't realistic to a game, but kind of kept my shot still kind of there. But yeah, that's all I was doing playing video games. Um, I mean, we talked about it before the game, but. Uh, I think with four minutes left, five minutes left, I think we call a timeout. He's like, how you feeling? I still feel good. Just had a little cramp like in my stomach. Other than that, I was good. I was more so worried about my legs being up under me, but that wasn't a, a problem. So um, other than that, I feel good. Um, just wanted to get this win. This was a, would have been a big win for us, man. It, you know, it sucked. You know, they hit some big threes down the stretch. We cut it, but we just didn't, you know, do enough, you know, early in the game. Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, he's he's pulling his weight, man. Twenty one rebounds, eleven assists, twenty six points. You can't ask for nothing more than that. Um, we just gotta take onus, you know, on ourselves to just help him, you know, do more. Um, anything, rebound more, help him out, let him get a rest on defense, you know, because he's doing a lot on offense. So we just gotta turn up our play, and uh, I think everybody capable of doing it on this roster and. It'll happen. Um, I know he get tired. You know, he's not, you know, just a, 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 like a monster out there where he don't get tired. But, you know, he's pulling his weight, man. That's what MVPs do. We just got to help the MVP and, um, you know, take some weight off his shoulders, man. Have you ever expressed at all that it, I mean, how I just said it feels great? Yeah. Like, have you ever expressed at all that it, you care too much? Uh, nah, that's not his, that's not his MO, man. He. You know, he speaks up and, sh and tell guys where we're supposed to be. You know, most of the time, 99.9%, .9 he's telling us somewhere to cut and you'll be wide open. So we just got to, I think, be more in tune to how they plan them. You know, they was coming right off the catch tonight, whoever was entering the ball. So if you, we were saying, he was telling us in the huddle, if we enter the ball to him, yo man come trap, you cut. This guy, whoever the middle guy got to take you. So whoever at the top just pull and it's like a stream and we would have been able to get shots. We didn't do enough of that tonight. Just getting the ball in there to him. Um, you know, that's on me being a point guard. That's on whoever is bringing it up. We got to get him touches. Cause he's the most unselfish guy, you know, I ever played with. So we definitely got to do a better job with that. Yeah. 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 Nah, not really. I mean, we really matched up well, putting the call on O'Neal late in the game. Um, made, tried to make O'Neal make plays off the bounce. Like I said, we got to give them credit. They made threes when they needed to make them. Um, with the second unit, uh, without Gobert and Whiteside in that second unit, instead of seeing down covers, we saw a lot of switching. So that definitely was something you know, we knew was going to happen, but it still kind of made us kind of stagnant a little bit early in the game. But besides that, Everything they threw at us, we knew how they was gonna double and everything. We just gotta be, we just gotta be better, man. And we, I think we will. Yeah. 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 Um, they doing a hell of a job giving us the game scheme and everything, but you know, Malone, you know, as Malone, you know, he's one coach of the year and everything, and we missing DA, um, the offensive, you know, offensive guys. So at times we look around like what we in, um, so it kind of gets stagnant at times. Um, instead of you know Malone on the sideline, he's more talkative and just helping us as far as getting this, just punch it to Nicole and things like that, and everybody hears it. So um, in huddles. Just like, I mean, Popeye stepping up. This is, you know, it's what, third game, you know, as a head coach. So 
I mean, it's adjustment for anybody. Just like if a guy steps in and you expect him to just play and it's his third start of his career. Like, you know, it's it's tough, man, on anybody, but he's doing a great job. We just have to help him and same way he's helping us, you know, be more vocal, especially without Malone there. Everybody got to be vocal, got to be locked in in timeouts um, and not just wandering, you know, mentally. We got to be all be focused because, you know, we down people and we got to be resilient. Yeah, I mean, look, um, at home, our crowd be into it. But at home, I think the losses that we did have, we didn't get off to good starts. Like tonight, I feel like we were kind of flat coming out. They was the aggressive. They made us call the first time out. Um, at home, we got to use our fan base, you know, as an advantage and get out early on teams and make it feel – Make them feel the altitude, make them feel the loud fans in there like the fourth quarter, how I get energetic, and then we start playing well. So I think we just got to do a better job of just being aggressors first, trying to hit first as much as possible. No, nah, nothing new. I mean, I watched all the games. Um, it really was nothing new. I, I just knew I played Utah so many times, you know, they force you to make shots. So um, just trying to be aggressive and shot ready, but it's nothing new. We, you know, we've been running the same things um, all year. Like I said, we just have to be the aggressors and um, stop, you know, getting hit them out first. You know, you look at any sport, uh, especially like boxing, you first three rounds, fill out rounds, but whoever, make that jump, that first punch, usually win a fight. So we just got to uh, do that more often. Yeah.